Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Patreon Conrad Aquino. And before I even proceed, I want to say thank you to Conrad for being a patron of this channel. You too can become a patron of this channel by going to um, patreon.com slash KE0OG. He says, hi, Dave, I just watched your video about the Wolf River coil set up and tuning. In my comment, I mentioned a YouTube video by KB9VBR, which I did look at, very good video, uh, where he used aluminum window screen instead of radio wires, and it worked out very well. Here's the link to the video in case you're interested. I'll put that link to the video in the description down below so that you can look at that too. And he sends best wishes from Conrad, KN6VMK. Okay, so what he's talking about basically, the Wolf River coil is a small setup. It has a whip antenna and it has a loading coil. And it comes with three pretty long radials. So I'm going to shorten those radials so there'll be six or nine of them. But um, in any event, this idea is just roll out some window screen. You can pick this up very inexpensively at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware or um, True Value. Any of the, the chains will have it. Note, there are two types of window screen. One is aluminum, where the wires are aluminum, so you have an aluminum mesh. The other is plastic. Now, the plastic, of course, won't work for this at all. Now, the way that uh, KB9VBR did it in his video was he just had a little um, wire come from where the grounds connect on the antenna down to with a little clip that he could clip onto the wire. And it works. It does work because it acts as a counterpoise. It's a fairly large counterpoise if you lay out like six feet of it or something like that, depending on how much you get in the roll. Nothing wrong with laying down more. In fact, I would recommend that more is better up to a point of diminishing returns, that is. Now, the thing about window screen, uh, aluminum window screen, you need to be very careful of. If you leave it in a wet environment, leave it in a wet environment, it will degrade, it will oxidize, uh, even though there's a protective layer of aluminum oxide on the outside, but it can degrade to the point of not being any good anymore. Note that you can also get window screen uh, used to be available, I'm not sure if it is now, that's actually a form of steel. And that will rust uh, pretty quickly if it's in contact with water. So make sure it's the metal stuff. It's actually aluminum. Put it out there. Note that with time, the window screen uh, will develop more oxide on the um, things and you'll get other crud and corrosion in there between the weaves of the metal and it won't make as good a contact as it used to make. So keep it clean, keep it dry. Uh, every so often you might want to put the thing out on a concrete surface and just hose it down really, really well and let it dry completely out there in the sun before you uh, roll it back up. But that would definitely work as a counterpoise in this situation. So um, I sent a, a note back to him saying uh, just that it will work, just as I just said, and uh, make sure that all the wires make good contact with each other. And you'll have, it'll be almost like a big plate on the ground because the RF will see that as just a solid metal surface and, and uh, it will work quite well for it. So, there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you can go to decastler.com slash support. Pick a way that works for you. Please also subscribe. It tells YouTube that this is a channel worth sharing. 
Also, you can share it yourself with your favorite hams or your club. And until we next meet, 73. <laughs>